So I had this question, what's the latest when it comes to research on the looking for life out there in the universe? Well, there is good news and bad news. The good news is that research is proceeding at an unprecedented pace. The bad news is that we have not found any conclusive evidence of any type of life anywhere else except on good old planet Earth. Not even a tardy grade anywhere except the ones that we ourselves put on the moon. So some of the favorite places to search for life is of course none other than Mars. And the recent mission that went there from NASA, Perseverance, its main job has been to seek li evidence of ancient life. Of course, what really excites me about that particular mission also is that it's the first time ever that humans have had flight on an alien world. How exciting is that, right? Humanity forever breaking barriers. And then by mid 2030s, NASA has a mission plan for a very special place. So Saturn, one of its largest moons, Titan, is a particular favorite when it comes to searching for life. So in the mid 2030s, it is hoped that the Dragonfly spacecraft mission will actually land on its surface and it'll be the first time. And what's so exciting about Titan is that it's loaded with hydrocarbon lakes on its surface. And when it comes to life, water, hydrocarbon, and an energy source are some of the key things that has helped life even thrive on this planet Earth as we know it. So this mission is so important that when the Cassini mission um, around Saturn ended its um, term in 2017, it was deliberately crashed onto its surface so that it does not contaminate good old Titan. And then there is the whole world, literally, of exoplanet discovery. There are more exoplanets out there than we ever imagined. They are already numbering in the thousands. And we understand the planetary conditions pretty well. And uh, we even, astronomers, have even been able to um, understand what the atmosphere of some of these planets are made up of. And what's remarkable is, again, the hydrocarbon, the water, the energy sources are quite common in other places in the universe. As many scientists are now beginning to think that when it comes to finding alien life, right, alien life, or even at the microbial level, that it's not going to be a matter of if we will find life, but rather when. How exciting is that?